Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are reviewing Adam's H2O Garden Gloss. Adam's H2O Garden Gloss. So the basics on this product, it's a water-based or a water-activated acrylic formula. And it talks about water-activated nanopolymers in, in, the, um, in the formula. Provides long-lasting protection and shine, uh, although Adam seemed to say around about two months durability for it on their, on their video. Suitable for use on all, exter all exterior surfaces, including trim. Fast and easy to apply and made in the USA. Those are the product claims. Let's talk about application. There's two things with application. There's a wet and a dry method, okay? And they both seem to require a little bit of water as the kind of, the, the key kind of difference to how you'd normally apply a sealant, which is interesting with acrylic sealants. You know, you don't, I've not seen many acrylic sealants that you, that, you know, most of them are, are the old school ones that you kind of apply, they're solvent carried, you need to prep. You know, and you put them down and let them cure and buff them off. I've not used a water-based acrylic or a water-activated, as they describe it, acrylic sealant before. The wet application method relies on you um, applying the product after you've washed your car, okay? You've rinsed all the soap off your car and you have a clean car, but a wet car, okay? So there's a few products that, that are using this this opportunity, if you like, to then apply the seal because it means it's easier to fit it in with your maintenance wash, and you can save a little bit of bit of time. So what they what they recommend is once the car is wet, you then have a damp microfiber uh, cloth, okay, buffing cloth, ideally that's soaked in kind of water, but not completely saturated, just damp, and then a load of dry uh, microfiber um, cloths to buff with and then what you do is panel by panel you spray the product onto the panel they they sort of talk about spritzing it onto the cloth as well and you work that kind of acrylic um, formula over the surface of the panel and then once you've got coverage over all of it you get your bar your dry microfiber cloth sorry and you buff that back to a shine so that's the first application method the second application method they describe as a dry method but you, you typically do it after you're washing your car again. Obviously, you don't apply sealants on top of dirt and stuff like that. So you wash your car, and then, then you dry the car, and then you apply it. Um, now, what I'd say is, because it's kind of water-activated, works with water activation, you don't have to go nuts and get the car bone dry, like when you're getting your drying towels out and trying to get all the water off it. So what you can do is just use a single buffing cloth and get all the excess water off the panel. So you just have small amounts of water or a thin film of water on the car. That's still acceptable. It doesn't have to be bone dry. It can be bone dry though. And then the same as the wet method, you have one damp cloth that's not saturated, but it's just been soaked in water and then most of that water squeezed out. And then you can either spray the product onto the panel or spritz it onto the cloth and then you apply the product over that panel and then buff it back in the same way. So those are the two application methods and I tested both of them. So the key points on this, out of the two application methods, I preferred the dry method. Um, I did half of it with the wet method, half of it the dry method. Jeff suggested to me to use the dry method, but I wanted to try both. The thing with the wet method is you've got a lot of kind of standing water, you know, beads of water, water droplets all over the car. When you're spraying the product um, on top of all that water, it can run a bit and it can get a bit messy. Um, and also when you're trying to level the product over the panel with the damp cloth, that damp cloth can get saturated. Well, it's already kind of close to saturation because it's damp, but when you go over the panel, it picks up a lot of water and it's just a little bit more of a messy um, application method. And also when you're trying to buff the car dry, when there's loads of water on it to start with, your buffing cloth gets a lot wetter. And it just seemed to work better for me 
when the panel um, when the panels are reasonably dry. So I found it easy to just take one buffing cloth and go over the car quickly and get the 99% of the water off and just, it might still be a little bit wet with a small film and then just spritz it onto a damp applicator. Much easier to then, once, once you wipe the panel, you can see the film, get the coverage you want all over the panel. And when you go to buff it back off, it's, it's less wet and it kind of, you buff back to a cleaner kind of shine in an easier manner. So the dry application was more of a winner for me. Um, the next thing, that residue that the, um, the product leaves behind, it doesn't like cure hard or anything. You put it on and buff it straight off and it's very soft and easy to buff off. It doesn't drag and smear. You can see the shine come back straight away so it's quite easy it's quite straightforward and not too tiring to kind of apply this and not too in depth it's, it's easy to apply basically um, now the next thing is Adam sort of suggests that you'll get about two months durability out of this product which is interesting it's nice when they when they get, sort of give you a couple of months because the tendency is for companies to overestimate how long the product will work so two months sounds like a good good sort of a reasonable amount of time because the important thing with this is with sealants and like products that you put on your clear coat the typical thing that I've learned is the more durability you want you you kind of get out of them you know they're the ones that typically require a more thorough prep and a, a lot more longer application longer cure times and take longer to apply you know it's more of a ritual and you tend to do it after polishing the, the complete other end of the scale, you've got like your detail sprays that you can just sort of sling on to give you a little bit of gloss. Um, now these sort of mid-range products where they're very fast to apply, um, you know, they're not going to give you the durability of a full-on sealant, but they don't take, you know, take, take a fraction of the time to apply. So, you know, less than a quarter of the time to apply. You could be around your car in five minutes with this and then you've got two months worth of protection. So that's kind of one plus with the product. But it's a mid-range durability, fast application. This product I've used, so I've done one coat with it and I'm down to there, okay? So I used quite a lot when I was doing it the wet method. I think you'd get at least 10 applications out of this, maybe less if you're spritzing it on the cloth and applying it quite carefully. So 10 applications every couple of months, you're gonna be talking potentially this product lasting you for one or two years. So that's good. So the main things about uh, Adam's uh, H2O Gloss and Guard, it is very quick to apply. It does give you nice gloss. Um, it doesn't, I, I, as I do research on all of these videos and I went and look and some people were saying it streaks. This does not streak at all, okay? And like I say, my BMW's got every product known to man or beast on different sections and you lay this out in a film and you buff it back and it goes to gloss. It doesn't streak, um, so I don't know, you know, there's millions and one other products out there, so who, who knows if someone said it's streaked for them. Um, it wasn't a sunny hot day when I applied it, so I don't know if sunshine's a factor, but Adams, their products seem to be, you know, very good at coping with sun, which is what I mentioned with um, their shampoo, and it's one of the reasons Jeff likes them and, and in, you know, got involved with, with uh, the distribution, because they're so friendly in the sun. So nothing at all no negatives at all with this product um if you want to kind of pick holes you can say well there's sealants out there that can do you know six to twelve months non non ceramic sealants there are but not that you can apply this quickly and they're, they're the type of sealants that you need to do lots of prep for um and this product kind of complements a car that's had one of those long lasting kind of sealants and adams um do one and i, I bet you it's acrylic because it will go it will work better with this um so this product complements the protection that you've got on your car less than those full dedicated sealants that require preps but much more than just spraying it with a detail spray so it's a kind of mid-range fast to apply product and i've had good results from it on you know it's obviously limited when you're just using it once and trying to do a review but it's nice good stuff so uh, thumbs up from the channel so yeah, it's been good fun for me and it's um, given me a little bit of uh, insight into another range, which is cool. I hope you have enjoyed them. We have a lot of stuff um, that I'm working on at the moment in the background and sort of preparing a framework. You know, I always try and prepare them first and then, for, then go and shoot them and all that sort of stuff. There'll be something coming along um, on leather repair soon. 
um, and another leather cleaning video specifically aimed at steering wheels and also um, I am I am at the close to getting to the stage where I can shoot a, a best of style video on sealants as well and that should be it's going to be a lot of work but that that's going to be a good one hopefully so that's it for now guys thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye.